right, on to another day working on the ambulance. So as you can see behind me, the walls are in and things are looking pretty good, um, especially in our, our garage slash bed area, which is where I'm sitting in right now. So now that we've got the walls in, we can start to frame up what is gonna be our bed frame and it's also going to be underneath it a garage space that we access from back of the ambulance and if you don't know exactly what I mean you'll see as it starts to come together hopefully if today goes well so I'll be uh, showing you a little bit of the detail work that goes into thinking about this stuff um, but for right now I got to do a lot of measuring and make some cuts and make sure that everything's gonna be framed in nicely so I've got part of the frame up uh, as you can see there are support bars running across the horizontal length of the ambulance uh, and then I built this little structure in the middle here to support some weight. So I'm going to do another structure just like this along one side to support some more of the weight because I don't trust just one of these right now. Uh, we need to be able to make sure Beth and I can sleep on top of this thing without any worries. Um, what I'm finding is that um, different screws make a huge difference in a project. These uh, star drive screws are just awesome. Um, Instead of, you know, over a Phillips head, I'm really able to, to drive in these screws without having to worry about stripping or anything like that. I'm also being more careful with pilot holes and things like that, but uh, these star drive screws are just really making a difference. Building the garage frame is all done. I wanted to highlight just a couple of ways that I screwed up today because there's been a, some fun ones. So first off, the driver's side of the frame I was planning to mount to this external storage unit that is protruding into the, uh, the back of the ambulance here. That way we could you know, seal off uh, this piece because it's kind of an awkward space just cutting into the ambulance and also uh, we could not have to build a supporting structure underneath this side of the frame because the frame is after all going to be sitting on top of the storage unit. So I thought I could run these pieces across and then I can just screw them down. Uh, into the external storage unit, which has a, about an eighth inch aluminum frame. And I thought I would just use these two inch um, flathead self-drilling wood to metal screws. I thought two inches, that's great. That should be plenty for going through the two by four, the eighth inch aluminum and a little bit of insulation that's there. Um, after reading the fine print on the box, I realized that in order to get a secure uh, hold, three threads of the screw have to make it into the aluminum. Well, um, when you notice the screw here, the threads don't go all the way down. The threads go about halfway down and then there's this uh, self-drilling puncture piece for getting into the metal and anchoring there. So by the time I get through the two by four and reach the aluminum, just about all the threads are used up and the screws are pretty much useless. They, they just spin, they don't really go anywhere or hold anything. So. Uh, I still have to figure out how to secure this side to the aluminum here in order to mount that. Another mistake today in mounting these horizontal beams across the back here, I realized after a little bit that the right side was slanting downwards and unfortunately I had already screwed in this horizontal piece here and the supports for it. Um, so what I had to do was unscrew the uh, this top part here and add a little shim there. So that's what this little piece here is doing. It's making this beam uh, level all the way across. Another mistake today is I, I got a little cocky and I thought I could screw into this two by four here without pre-drilling a pilot hole and I was too close to the edge here and you can see I split the wood. So I had to do another little hole. That happened a couple times today. Like I mentioned earlier, I really have learned the importance of the screws you use, how you use them pre-drilling. I wanted to give you guys a shot of the inside while there's still a little bit of light left. Just got that front face screwed onto there uh, and on the left side here we're gonna have a little cutout for Diego to get to his litter box to uh, see if we can get some bed frame in here. Looks like we got the storage compartment just about done. <music>
This is a couch formation. Well, we've already secured in place every other board on this frame underneath. And then every other one that's sticking out a little farther here is gonna be attached to a two by four under here that's gonna pull out, run along a runner. Um, and we're gonna put in a leg in the middle. But uh, Anthony is just taking some measurements for a piece that's going to go underneath all of these on the underside of okay. these longer boards so that when we pull it out, it stops. So it's underneath here and we'll show you that when we're done.